So I've only been on one surf trip in my life. I've always wanted to go somewhere in Tahiti and get perfect lefts. I called up my friend Anthony Walsh. He said that an outer island in Tahiti would be good, so I gathered up Anthony, Tika Smith, and my brother, and we all decided to go on a surf trip. The island where we were staying was basic living. There was electricity from solar panels and you washed your dishes in the ocean. There's a little village with a store that had basically like crackers, rice, sugar, coffee, <laughs> and that's about it. There's really not much out there. Going into this trip, Anthony had told me that this wave is very rare and he's only gotten it twice within the past eight years. He had to sleep in front of the break on his board bag for like three days and he said those three days were some of the best waves he's ever gotten so I was really excited. Being with Anthony, Tika, and Troy at that break, four friends out at perfect hollow left-hand barrels, it was just amazing. And the boys were, of course, being kind to me, and they would let me go on like all the sets. So I got super lucky with the group that I chose to bring on this trip. Be able to share that kind of wave and that kind of environment, just good vibes, good waves, and perfect days on the beach was just unbelievable. I was having the best time of my life. Eating there was 
was an adventure in its own because we did not have a restaurant. We had a store that had very little. We had to catch everything we ate, which was fun in itself, but that's also very dangerous because of all the sharks. Brandon and Scott would always go out and dive for these fish, and they would have the craziest stories to bring back to us, like, oh my gosh, we got this fish, and it got bit in half right as we speared it by this shark, and then it became a frenzy, and then I would just be like, ha ha, okay, we're not gonna surf tomorrow. <laughs> My favorite part of the trip was surfing, for sure. Crystal clear blue water, beautiful coral reef that's vibrant and so alive. Being on an island like that, there's nothing like it. Though it's only my second surf trip, it's going to be in the books for a really long time because we had such amazing adventures getting there and surfing the wave from catching food to just being by yourself on an island eating coconuts all day long. I'm never going to forget it. It's just such an amazing thing to see how simple life can be. Looking back to this trip, the bugs, the dry, shallow reef, the perfect wave, the nice people, everything was such an amazing experience and I can't wait to go back someday, but I'm not sure if I'll get it that good ever again. Yeah.